A second vaccine, the one made by Moderna, has moved a big step closer to authorization in the U.S. An independent committee is recommending the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approve the vaccine for emergency use. More than 17 million Americans have now tested positive for the virus, and more than 317,000 Americans have died from it. As Jennifer Johnson reports, if the FDA agrees, millions of doses of the Moderna vaccine could be shipped as early as this weekend. For the second time in just over a week, a panel of scientists advising the U.S. Food and Drug Administration recommended another COVID-19 vaccine, this one produced by Moderna, which is 94 percent effective. We found no cases suggestive of anaphylaxis to mRNA-1273. The FDA is likely to take quick action, as it did with the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. The last shipments of the first round of that vaccine have been delivered, and millions of healthcare workers and nursing home residents are being inoculated. Hospitals have even found extra doses in the vials. This is a really a cause for celebration. It is, um, you know, really the, the weapon that we needed to fight this pandemic. For the first time in the U.S., a healthcare worker in Alaska had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine and was hospitalized for observation. Did you anything else? As deaths skyrocket, many states are in crisis. California's governor has activated the state's mass fatality program, putting 60 mobile morgues on standby. Overworked nurses in Southern California are threatening to go on strike Christmas Eve. In Los Angeles County, ambulances are waiting up to six hours to offload patients at hospitals. People are going to die that don't need to die. The governor of New York is warning he may have to shut down his entire state within a month if this surge continues. If we're smart, we can slow the spread. If we slow the spread, we can avoid any more economic shutdowns. It's a scenario playing out across the country. Death, suffering, and millions losing their jobs and businesses. I took every bit of money that I had and dumped it back in here to keep it alive, and I just, I can't. U.S. jobless numbers Thursday hit their highest level since early September as Congress continues work on a $900 billion economic aid package. Leaders say they will not leave town for the holiday break without a deal. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.